about you. Current time is it's one o'clock. I haven't eaten. And uh, yeah, just heading out to do a, uh, just a little short one, I think. But the weather doesn't look too good. Yeah, the, uh, the weather is currently showing storms at two o'clock. And it's, it's one o'clock now. But hopefully, it'll stay nice and dry. I'm gonna go hit up the gravel path today. Take a few little snaps on the DSLR, the crappy little 16 megapixel. I need to start bringing my my 20, 21 megapixel full frame camera, but it's just it's a little bit too heavy. Here's uh here's the views. Currently climbing a 14% gradient. Just going up into Peñas Negras now. Normally I stay pretty flat on the gravel, but now I'm, uh, I'm going for a little bit of a climb today. Ooh, see if we can get some nice views. Get close up on that sweat. Ooh. Spicy, 11%. Ooh. It's been like this for a little while now. It's not easing off. Oh, I can see another hill coming. I'm 250 meters up this climb. Still at a, a strong 11% gradient. I don't know how long this will go on for, but it can't be more than another 200. On the plus side, I'm out in nature. Doesn't get better than this. Ooh. Don't know if you can save my shoulder. Back, back towards where I came from, it's nice and sunny. Where I'm heading, and towards Bilbao, I think there might be a storm. So I'm in the safe zone at the moment. Maybe I should just stay in, I should just stay in this mountain, go back down the way I came up. Maybe I'll do that if it starts raining on me. Oh. 350 meters up now, and the gradient's laid off a bit. Currently going up to 3%, which is oh, a dream. Maybe these are like some of the best roads for cycling in the world. I mean, maybe my backdrop at the moment isn't that great. I've got a little graffiti shed, but nice little waterfall going. I mean, here's the road. It's just, it's just enchanting. It's, it's oh. I 
I don't, I don't know if you can see, but I am steaming. Woo. I don't know if you can see that, but I hope so. Woo. Hot. Ah, it's beautiful. This, this golf course down here, this is where John Ram played golf when he was a junior. He might still play golf there now, I don't know. If, if you know, leave it in the comments. But yeah, now, now I'm in La Arboleda, which is like a natural park in um, up in the mountain, just kind of close to Bilbao. It's quite, it's quite a long way up, so two seconds. Let me get it up on the old uh, Sigma rocks. 450 meters I just climbed so I've got to the top 450 meters and now I'm gonna head down to down there I don't know if you can see the sea down there but that's that's Portugalete uh, and then uh, Muskif is riding behind this way but yeah so been, been up here a, f a fair few times and um, yeah walking around this area is is beautiful if you're from the UK it kind, of, it kind of reminds me of the, the new forest, but up in a mountain. Um, this single road, you've got all the, the horses and uh, cows running about. There are some goats now, let's go check them out. the most embarrassing moment on a bike that I've ever had. So I watch videos online all the time and I see people like stacking it like, <laughs> and I just think, how can you be so stupid just to like not like unclip? Well, anyway. I f that hurt, that's gonna hurt so much when I get home. I was literally in a bar where there was a, like a crowded area, a group of people. And I got off my bike to walk down some stairs and I got back on it, but like clipped in and I didn't think I was clipped in. So I tried removing my left leg and I just collapsed onto the ground. And that is really deep. Nice little war wound. First one of the collection, tick that off. <laughs> oh. I wish I recorded it. It all went in slow motion. What <laughs> oh, absolute pleb. And now 
I, th I, I understand how you feel when you don't unclip in time because it's gonna happen and that's it you gotta laugh it off and keep going This is just like a zigzag road all the way down to where I've just showed you. Leg, leg is in pain. At least it's uh, getting some fresh air as I literally, I'm going down here probably like 45, 50 kilometers per hour. So pretty quick. And I think I'll end up somewhere down here. I think, I think this is Thorosa. No, I don't know where that is. No, I don't, I don't know. but. Maybe this is Baracaldo, but I'm not sure, but gonna keep heading down. Freewheeling the whole way down, not pedaling a single thing. Oh, welcome to the Basque Country. Look, the Basque Country is so underrated for cycling. And uh, if you're thinking about coming to the north of Spain, just look, look. Leave, it, leave a comment as well in, uh, in the video and uh, who knows, I, I can do a free tour for you. <laughs> a free tour when you need to pay tips. A good amount of tips. Oh, that's a good idea, eh? This is this is the best road I've, I've ridden down. This is so fun. Oh, I'm gonna put a camera away and just enjoy it. Back on familiar territory. And I don't think Looks like the sun's coming out, so I don't think it is going to storm after all. It's turned out to be a lovely day. Yeah, I'll probably, probably end up getting some tan lines from today. It's been banging. Well, uh, heading home now. I might go stop in a bar and grab a, a Radler, which is a shandy, much better than a beer, and uh, go enjoy that in the sunshine if it's still there. If it's not, if the sun's not out, then I'll just head home. Back home. Not actually sure how far I am. I think I've done about 60, roughly 60 kilometers, 60 kilometers with maybe six, 700 meters of climbing, I think. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button for, for future videos and future content. I'm absolutely cream crackered.